like he had no gun and he made no threats to him it doesn't matter he could have been on his hands he had no gun my little bro he had no gun he had no weapons he had no knife he could have been standing on one hand and one leg he could have been asleep and he could have been he could have been what happened to the dog? Where's the mate? Why she white? Why she not here? The dog and the bite. And the dog. Let's talk about the dog bite. Shit, not make it worse. Innocent man or a man that shoot him five times? That doesn't make any sense. Do you? No who he is? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I guess they took the people's cameras inside the restaurant that were filming it. So I haven't been able to find anybody yet that has physically seen the instance occur. I'm gonna go inside the restaurant here and see if I can figure anything out. This is uh, El Cajon on the corner of Broadway and Mollison. I think the shooting happened about 30 minutes ago. You guys closed? Did you see what happened? Did you see what happened? Okay. All right, thank you. All right. The restaurant is closed. Pretty much the only people I saw what happened are in the restaurant, I believe, and they're not allowed to talk to anybody, according to the police. <laughs> Everything is consistent. They have a job to do. Okay? And so part of their job, you could, you could call it that if you want, guarding evidence. Okay? If they're witnesses to the incident, then they're required to stay here for investigations division. Uh, Are you a detective? So they can uh, oh, okay. Uh, public information. So, but, so they're not allowed to can talk. Can I see your information, doing, please, sir? Uh, when they're not allowed sir. to talk when they're doing um, this type of stuff, when they're doing their job of standing around and protecting everything. They, they, understand that they don't want number to say zero one eight four they may not answer because oh, maybe they know the information and they're not allowed to say it so you put their silence is not allowed to talk oh good call Aaron yeah they don't have body cams yet Oh, bitch ass federalities over there. Yeah. Sitting there. <laughs> oh, wait, no, her. When we see that the law enforcement, right away, you are African American, you are Mexican, you are guilty. He was a team running. So, there's going to be a lot of Facebook video. There's a video, there's a camera right on that building. And I want everybody to notice that. This camera. They probably took it already. <laughs> this camera is already, already in police custody. They already see it. They got the big news. They got all the cameras. They got and Las Ponchos, the people in the restaurant saw it too. Like the in the restaurant. Yeah. All you gotta do is tap in, they can tap in any video camera they want. That big ass They don't have that right. They don't have that right. They can tap in anything, any camera they want. Any community they can tap in. When you go high school, shoot somebody in front of their own children, in front of people that have nothing to do with them, they can hear. Uh, it says I got a full signal. I should have good data. I don't know if it's choppy or not right now. I don't know how much more information I could get for you guys. Not talking, they're not letting anybody get close. <laughs> Shooting occurred right there by those two cars in the tree. You can see the slippers over there from the victim. Uh, article of clothing, perhaps, I'm not really sure. All right, unfortunately nobody saw anything so the people inside the restaurant and they took their phones and they took the camera on the side of the building so Nobody pretty much knows what's going on right now. I believe he was in the restaurant. 
when the altercation first started around the time the police arrived, and then it continued outside when his sister called for help, saying he was having a seizure or something to that effect, from what I've heard. Got about four or five different uh, news broadcasters here. Did anybody see the victim on the floor before they took him away? Another shooting. It's on my Facebook. It is. Look at that. Yeah. What is your Facebook? Rumbi Mubaiwa. R U M B I E M U B A I W A. I'm in San Diego, California. Look me up on Facebook. It's on their live. So it doesn't show you the shooting, but it shows him laying there on the floor. I'll try to interview. not doing anything. There you go. I'll try to interview you after. Thank you. Yeah, I believe I saw her uh, live uh, broadcast before I got here and she said that they didn't try to resuscitate him or do any life-saving techniques after the incident so I mean we hear this all the time so it's not a shock I'm sure I'm gonna try and interview her after she's done see if I can get some information America are the biggest gangbangers to ever live because they can come in and shoot me as a black female while you're standing here with your camera and, can, and you couldn't do nothing about it. And they'll say it was justified because I'm out here mad about what they did. I'm erratic, so I should be shot. That doesn't make sense. When you are called, was he having problems? He was originally having a seizure, and she called to let him know he's mentally challenged. The seizure caused him to start freaking out. And she called for help two more times. And they told her that her call was not important enough. Somebody else called and said it's a citizen being erratic. They pull up and shoot a mentally challenged person five times. Send her mask. You're not helping him. You're trying to kill him. They came with the sole purpose to kill and destroy. That's it. That's all. The, the, uh, the guy down the street uh, with, the, with the white shirt, he was saying that uh, the guy had his shirt off and then uh, he, he didn't seem hostile, he didn't seem uh, a, a, uh, erratic, I guess the words that they were saying. He just seemed lost, he seemed confused. And so uh, he threw his hands up and he started opening up five shots. Who said that? The guy over there with the white shirt, over there with the hat. Now he was just talking right now. Oh, across the street? No, he was right there before the street. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm going to interview this guy, see if I get some more info. Supposedly, he saw what happened before he got shot. My hands up. Right. I seen two officers with their firearm on him. Okay, so now that I'm seeing this, I'm telling my wife and my boss, look, look, look in front of us, look what's going on. Someone's gonna get shot. Right. Okay, so the man's hands are up, no shirt. He didn't have no shirt. She can't say he had a weapon. He didn't have a shirt on. So as I see him like this, another cop comes. Now he's blocked in three ways. He has nowhere to run. He's scared. He runs to the right as he runs to the right, five shots. Boom, 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 boom. Body down. He was done. How would you identify the suspect's demeanor? Was he um, uh, was he scared Terri or was he... He was terrified. He was scared. He was terrified more than the laws were. He didn't know what... The way he looked, it was like he didn't know what was going on. Did you talk to police about what you saw? Yes, sir. They came direct to me. Somebody told him I seen him. Okay. So, um, when... Uh, what was your reaction to seeing the way the suspect was acting and the way police were presenting themselves? 
you're asking me, I'm asking you uh, to, to, to uh, kind of describe for me, um, did the police seem aggressive? How did they yes. seem? Yes. The officers seemed very aggressive and they were very aggressive and it was wrong. I don't understand why no tasers were out. What do you think should have happened? I think maybe he should have got restrained or he should have got tased. Uh, he had no weapon in his hand. When I tell you that um, there's a videotape of him uh, with his hands in his side and refusing to um, show the police officer his hands, what would you say? Do you remember that part of it? Uh, from when I seen him from get-go, from point one, his hands were like this. All right, and that's a good question. At what point do you think he came onto it? On the, scene? the very beginning or somewhere in the middle? I, I think maybe around the middle. Around the middle. Okay. Yes, How do you feel about all this? It's, 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 it's a shame. Killing men, laws killing innocent men all over the world. Stay right here. Damn, you'll get us in two seconds. Um, so you were on your just so I have it accurate. You were on your way to work with your wife. No, we just got done doing a job. We were leaving the scene. You were leaving, so you did a job back yes, here. Sir. And what is it that you do again? Kirby, so Kirby. Uh, sweepers. Yes, sir. Oh no, kidding. If you guys like to get involved in cop watching, it's easy. You just pick up your phone. If you see something happen, you pull over and record it. I'm here uh, representing United Against Police Terror San Diego. Please check out the website, United Against Police Terror SD or San Diego.org. UAPSD.org. You know what, man? It doesn't make any sense because they got a bunch of dudes over here for one man. It doesn't take a bullet to stop one person when you got a bunch of guys. You know, uh, it, 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 it takes common sense. It doesn't. You don't have to come up with the fabricated you story. You bro. saw the shooting. You know what I'm saying? You don't yes, have to come around with. Could a I uh, interview time. you really quick over here? I know you just said it again, so I get a couple of quick. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Could I get your name? Michael Ray Rodriguez. All right, and uh, so you arrived when the cops were already here. Yes, sir. Okay. Could you describe maybe what happened in the moments leading up to when he got shot? Okay, yes. Uh, as we're coming out of these apartments, I see a black man come out of nowhere on the other side of a vehicle with his hands in mm -hmm. Then I see the officers come with the pistols, two of them. Mm -hmm. I see them come out being aggressive. Hey, that motherfucker, woody, 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 but I could not see the black man's face. Mm -hmm. uh, he's this way. I'm behind him. I only see the officers. So he was facing the police? Yes, I see him with his hands up, no shirt. Okay. Was yeah. he acting erratically or having anything he in his was, hands? He was, no, nothing in his hands, nothing on his way. Okay. His shirt was off. Shirt was off. Yeah, so if he had something right here, no, no, no lie, I can't. Was he acting weird or like he just had a seizure? Some people say he was confused, he wasn't yeah, sure. I believe he was confused and at the same time I believe he was scared. And what were the cops telling him to do when he had his hands up and the guns drawn? Screaming at him, telling him to lay down. And what happened after that? What did he do? Uh, after he got scared, and he was already scared, he didn't know which way to run because he was caught by the laws, mm -hmm. and, like trapped in. So he decided to run one way, and that's when one fired on him and discharged. Did he have his back turned when he got shot? Yeah, it was direct to him. How, many so how far fired? away were the cops? Five shots were fired. Five shots. How far away were the cops, you think, from the victim? The cops were about this far, literally. From me to you? About, I would say about five to six feet. So they didn't need to be that close, they, it obviously. It wasn't reachable. Uh, yeah. He couldn't even get the cops. Well, they shouldn't have been that close yes, either sir. way. Cool. All right, I'm thank sorry, you. I'm sorry, can you back no, up? I'm sorry, guys. No, it's all right. I'm good. Um, thank you. Can you tell me from the beginning? All right, you heard it from an eyewitness. He had his hands up, shirt off. They were extremely close to him for no necessary reason. When you have a firearm, you don't get that close to somebody because it's not necessary. So five shots to an unarmed person with his hands up shirt off didn't have any weapons on him they knew he was confused and just had a seizure or a seizure like uh action in the area so you guys just heard it right there eyewitness said exactly what happened that's why they took everybody's cell phones and they're not letting anybody know what's really going on because they already know what happened All right, I'm going to try and interview her, see what happened after the shooting. Where was the body? Anybody know where the body was? Um, his family are immigrants yeah. from Africa, and I'm sure they came here for the American dream, but having... <laughs> I came for the American 
I got an 11-year-old boy who's probably not going to be going to school tomorrow because I don't know if he's going to get gunned down. And tell me a little bit about what you saw when you got here. Once I got here, the police not only had a lack of compassion, there was no type of customer service. Granted, this is not a business per se, but I mean, no one came to her, being that it happened right in front of her. None of the police officers came to her and asked her if she was okay, if she needed water, if she had family members she could call, what they could find out about his mental history to find out how they got to the situation. No one said anything. When they came, the, no, first, no CPR, first aid, or anything was done. They just put him in the ambulance and took him. They didn't give her a chance to even go in the car and go with them. They didn't offer her the option to go ride with her mother. They just took him and left and kept booting her out of the plane. Is there anything else you want to add about, you know, uh, you know um, office, what is what is the guy's name? The sergeant that came? Robert Remsman, Remsman, Remsman. Ron Swiler. Yeah, Lieutenant Rob Ron Swiler. Yeah, him. Everything he said was a lie. He was not here. He has no account of what happened here. The police took everyone's cell phone from the taco shop and the boutique behind me to keep the evidence from coming out. This was an unlawful shooting, and they're going to do everything they can to keep it that way and make it seem like he did something, but he didn't. You say you saw that they didn't do anything or try to help him? They didn't. No CPR was done. They were rubbing his chest like this, like he was a genie in a bottle, and the, bu the bullets was just supposed to pop out, and he was going to be alive and well right after that. Did you it, see the ambulance show up? The ambulance showed up, but again, they didn't do CPR or anything else. They just mm -hmm. picked him up, put him on the gurney, put him in the thing, and they left. They didn't even give her the option to ride with her brother. They didn't bother to come and tell her, hey, your brother's okay. We're just taking him to the hospital to try to fix some things and make it fine. Or, hey, he died. Either mm -hmm. way, they didn't inform her of anything. They had no type of compassion for this lady. They gunned her brother down, her mentally challenged brother down in front of her, didn't say nothing. Nobody came and said, hey, stop, freeze, don't pass, go. Don't collect $200. Nothing. Nobody said shit. But three of them pulled their guns out and shot him five times, center mass. How can you tell me you're here to protect and serve me when you come for a mentally challenged person without asking or saying nothing, no kind of conversation. You didn't notify nobody of who you are. You said nothing at all, and you advance on him and shoot him five times in the center mass, and I'm supposed to believe that you are here to protect and serve me. You are here to protect and serve my child. I didn't ask to be born black. I didn't ask to have no black ass kid. I didn't ask to fuck, I didn't ask for none of this shit. But it's a blessing that I was born this way, and I'm gonna stand up for my people. Y'all not gonna gun me down. The day I get shot, Every black person in San Diego better wreck shop. And I mean it. Y'all better not touch no black neighborhoods. Go to all the white neighborhoods. All the white neighborhoods because they have insurance. Black folk, y'all know we struggling. We work really hard to have everything that we have. Exactly. And they're not going to do nothing to help us. They're not going to give him no CPR, no nothing. So if anybody wants to do something, now is the time. Stand up for what you believe in and go shoot up some shit. Hell, shoot some of their family members. If it was up to me and I had some gun, I'd have gunned some of them down too. I know, I meant to shit. They killing some of ours. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. They are. They are. They are. San Diego police officers are not officers. They're not officers. They are the terrorists. They're the gangbangers. They're the urban terrorists. They're the one causing all kinds of fuckery. When people say, oh, you know, there's black on black crime and there's this and that, who's going to care about all the other stuff that's happening when the people that's supposed to be stopping this shit from happening is the ones doing it? How do you come to somebody who's mentally challenged without notifying to say, hey, I'm so-and-so, I'm here to help you. Or, hey, I'm here to take you down. Either way, he would have been okay if he was blonde hair and blue eyes. Amen. Now, unfortunate to make it a race issue, but if he was blonde hair and blue eyes, they would have came and tackled him, yeah. tased him, hell, maybe a light pepper spray or something, and he would have went home and had dinner with his family. He can't do he can't do shit now because of this terrorist we call officers. These terrorists are supposed to be protecting us. These terrorists are supposed to be standing up for us and stopping everything that's going on. I got an 11-year-old boy who's at home right now. He can't be 
out here witnessing any of this shit because how do I know y'all not gonna start shooting into the crowd or some shit? The Ferguson riot was started by a police officer in, in a mask. That's exactly what's gonna happen here. More police officers doing stuff and blaming us. We didn't ask to be black. We were blessed with the skin color and we love it. If you don't like it, oh well, get ghost. We are the majority. If black people would understand that we are the majority and not the minority and come together, we could stand up and really do something and go against all this. I'm tired of being peaceful. I'm tired of standing by and saying, let me share something on Facebook. Somebody might see it. Let me tell a friend. Somebody might hear. It's clearly not doing anything. We're never going to get no justice. They're going to keep murking us off. Just know and understand that the day y'all kill my son, that's it. That's all. I don't give a fuck where you come from. If you're an officer, I'm gunning you down. I said it. I believe it. It might be ignorant to say it out loud, but I'm letting y'all know now. The day you shoot my black ass son will be the day all hell breaks loose. This. Where was he from? Ooh, he's from Sudan. Yeah, Sudan. Sudan. Sudanese. Yeah. Sudan. Hey, I work with uh, United Against Police Terror San Diego, and I want to be in contact them. I can get your information. Yeah, no contact problem. You. Yeah, we, definitely. Okay. I definitely want to do that. You gonna be I, around here for a couple? Yeah, of I'm gonna be here for a little while. Okay, I'm still look around again. Yeah, no and problem. I'll find I you. Yeah, I definitely want to cool. get in with that because yeah. I can't. Yeah. I have I, their family. Is also, in case everybody. Oh, it keeps freezing up. Yeah, sorry guys. I don't know. It says I got good signal. Uh, National Day of Protest Against Police Brutality, October 22nd. Go check it out. Unite Against Police Terror San Diego. Go to their Facebook page, website. Become a cop watcher. Let them know that we're out there watching them. They can't get away with this stuff all the time. That when this all comes out, that you will understand what happened. Somebody did. Hello? No, no. No, they just have the crime scene taped off, but the parking lot's completely open. Let off on. What did the, the man say? Was he saying anything to the police? His sister was saying something because his sister was with him. He's disabled. He's disabled. He's a disabled man. Um, he's unarmed and everything like that. And they just let off on man. They killed him right there. It's crazy. I want to say more, but... Uh, let's see the address. I encourage everybody to go to... UAPTSD.org, United Against Police Terror, San Diego. Check out their Facebook page. So from everything I heard, it was pretty obvious that he was wrongfully shot. So looks like we've got crime scene investigators here with gloves and all that.
right, guys, I apologize. I have to go back to work, so I hope I encourage some of you guys to start cop watching again. Check out United Against Police Terror San Diego on Facebook and UAPTSD.org.